welcome back to another race vlog. Myself and Cole running are driving from my house in Essex across the country to Cardiff in Wales for the podium 5k home nations. It's gonna be a really fast elite race across the 5k distance. So we're hoping to get involved in the pack, get pulled along to a fast time and uh, mix it with the fast boys. But yeah, just packing my bags. I've got one, two, three bags for uh, less than two days in Cardiff. So yeah, don't ask why I've got so much. I'm going for some vapor flies. I was gonna go with the hawkers and these ones, but I just feel like if I wanna guarantee the chance of a PB, then I've gotta wear the vapor flies. So I'm just waiting for Cole. He should be here any minute now. And then we're gonna jump in the car and head over to Cardiff. <laughs> So we just got to Wales, the lovely Cardiff, and we've been for a little bit of a shakeout. Um, we did just over three kilometers and a few strides. Let me show you the place we're staying at, a little Airbnb. Cole is very kindly offered to make dinner. Um, I'm staying with fellow YouTuber, 1445K runner Cole, and he is, uh, yeah, rustling up something for dinner. Oh, that door opens more briskly as well. Here he is, in our Welcome humble abode. How are you getting on, chef? We have coffee, we have fire, we have water. <laughs> we got coffee, we got coke. We Had an interesting <laughs> accent, lovely. Yeah, he's on the dinner duties. And let me show you around the place. So this is the living room. Gonna do some stretching in a minute. Through here is our living quarters. As you can see, we've already destroyed the place. We've only been here about 15 minutes um, and it is absolutely tipped. Looking forward to taking it easy tonight, getting an early-ish one, probably a lane in the morning as well, and we're racing tomorrow at seven o'clock in the evening, so we've got plenty of time just to chill out. I'm glad we've got a nice space. Get the Netflix on and watch Cole cook for me. So here we have a lovely meal prepared by Mr. Cole himself, just uh, tucking into a carrot and hummus. We've got some fish cakes. Oh, two fish cakes, what a treat. Nice. Potatoes, some mushrooms, little side sort of Greek salad vibe. Lovely Coke. That will see us through the night. Thanks, mate. Dinner viewing, Mr. Hardest Geezer. Just casually running the length of Africa, you know, nothing special. So it's a couple of hours after dinner. We've just chilled out on the sofa this evening, got my legs up. Um, we just watched the Mark Cavendish documentary. If you're into cycling, or you're looking for some motivation before a race, I'd highly recommend watching it. Gonna have a nice little lie in, take the, the morning nice and easy. I think Cole's gonna do a bit of shakeout run. And then we're gonna head over to a coffee shop in Cardiff called Hard Lines, get some good coffee, and then we're gonna get a haircut, come back here, have some lunch, chill out again, and then we're gonna race tomorrow evening at seven o'clock. So that's the plan. And then we're here for Sunday as well, maybe do a little bit of a long run before we drive home. The next day. Ooh, good morning. According to my watch, I slept for 10 hours and 45 minutes. It's now half 10, which has got to be a new record for me. Eight hours of light sleep, an hour and 15 minutes of deep sleep. Hopefully my legs feel nice and recovered this morning. Just gonna have a cup of tea, my usual breakfast, some porridge. But yeah, perfect night's sleep. Lovely little double bed situation with Carl. But um, yeah, let's get breakfast started. <laughs> Oh yeah, what a lovely day in Cardiff. Going to Hardlines Coffee, get some coffee for this morning. Cause that's what you do at coffee shops, you get coffee. Then we're gonna drink coffee. Then after our coffee, we're gonna get a haircut, which is next to the coffee shop. So yeah, plan of action, let's go. It's really, really, really good coffee. That's what we're here for, let's do it. So no messing about with the caffeine today. Gone for the coffee flight, so I've got a cortado, I've got a filter coffee, and an espresso. Delicious coffee. Let's see if this gets me buzzing. If I get a PB tonight, you know why. If I have to stop halfway around for the um, for the toilet, you also know why. So I've got my coffee. Just got a lovely haircut from a guy called Sam who happens to watch or listen to the Run It Three Ways podcast, and he heard that I was in Cardiff racing this afternoon so he said come in for a little trim he sorted me out so if you happen to be in cardiff um go visit sam at the barber room cardiff he's yeah very kindly gifted me a trim and i'm looking very fresh so if i get a pb tonight it's down to the hard lines coffee and that fresh trim from sam so thank you very much uh, i'm just going to go put another hour on the car while cole gets his hair cut and then we're going to have a lovely pasta dinner 
Awesome stuff. Lunch is cooking away. We're going for some tortellini today. Some butternut squash, I think it was. And we've got some mascarpone sauce in here. Very simple dinner, ready for our race later. Some simple carbs. Et voila. So it is now about two hours, two and a half hours until the race. So I just thought I would talk you through some of my race kit. So we're gonna start with the shoes. I'm gonna go for the Vaporfly uh, Next Percent 3s. These are the shoes that I ran my previous 5K PB in at the Bristol Track Club 5K probably about three months ago. I ran 14.42, so that's the time to beat tonight. Um, so I'm gonna go with these. These are my PB shoes. I think these are probably the best shoes uh, in terms of carbon racing shoes for the five and 10K distance. I nearly went for the Hocker Rocket X2. I think that's a really good shoe as well, but I thought I've PB'd in this shoe. I know I can trust it. Um, so I'm gonna be using that tonight. Socks, I'm going for shoe socks. Um, I've recently become an ambassador of these guys. If you want to grab yourself a pair, uh, there's a 15% code in the description. And these match nicely with my shoes. Shorts, I'm going for a pair of um, ASICs or ASICs, however you say it, with a little zip at the back there. So I can put the little GoPro that I use in there. In terms of the singlet, I'm going for a, a singlet from a running club called No Club Running Club. Um, tonight's event is actually like a team event. So there's teams of three. Um, or you can enter as an individual. I'm running as an individual, so I thought that best was quite fitting and I really like the design of that. Morton gel, 30 minutes before, just to top up the energy stores. Um, I'm also gonna be wearing the Coros heart rate monitor so I can track my heart rate across the run, um, more so I can look at the data afterwards than during. Uh, and I've got my contacts here. Um, so I'm just gonna whack those in, get ready to, um, to race, take my race kit down with me in a bag and head down to Butte Park, which is about a mile away from the hotel. So we just made it down to Butte Park. It looks like one of the earlier races has just begun. Let me see if I can get a bit of that action on camera. Here they come. This will be us in a couple of hours time. Good running guys, we're on. Look at them go. Great running guys, good job. It is now an hour and a half until our, our race. So that was the 5.30 race. Um, we're just gonna head to the, to the registration, get our numbers and get stuck in. So it's now an hour till my race. I've just gotten out for a bit of a warm up. I like to do about three kilometers of easy running before a 5K. Uh, so I'm just out doing a bit of a recce of the course. One of the other races is uh, going on as I'm talking to the camera. So if you see a few runners running past me, that's they're in their race. Um, hopefully they're having a good one. But yeah, the plan is tonight is just to get stuck in, find a pack, hopefully going at around my PB pace. Um, settle into a nice rhythm and just get stuck in really. It's one of those races where I'll probably end up coming about 50th position but there'll be a lot of guys running faster than me so I can just sort of get tagged along uh, hopefully to something close to a new PB. A little bit windy tonight but other than that conditions are pretty perfect so yeah looking forward to it. crowds are hotting up hopefully for our race there'll be even bigger crowds um, so yeah I always thrive under a, a good atmosphere so I hope the atmosphere is a good one
I'm with Matt. We just finished. How did you get on today, mate? Oh, with a mile to go, I thought it was a disaster race, but then I sent it with about 200 to go and it just dipped under 15. Oh, nice. Brilliant. So 59 or? 58, 57. Awesome, know. brilliant. Definitely under. Yeah, oh, good job, mate. Congrats. Thank you, appreciate it. So it's now a few days later after the podium 5K down in Cardiff. My camera actually died, um, so I didn't get much post-race footage. But me and Cole went for a lovely pizza. I had a few beers, and then we got up and did our Sunday long run uh, in Cardiff, which was really nice. Had a really good weekend with Cole. His YouTube video is up already, by the way. He's done a great job of putting together the weekend, so I recommend going and watching that. I'll leave a link down below. But yeah, I just wanted to talk you through how the race went for me um, and why I was left feeling a little bit underwhelmed um, post-race, um, despite having run a, a great time, 14.45. If I'd have said to myself this time last year that I was gonna run 14.45, I would have been absolutely thrilled. But I'm gonna explain why I was left feeling slightly disappointed. I don't wanna overdo it and be like, oh, pity party, I ran 14.45 and I'm not happy with it. But um, yeah, I'll explain my thinking going into the race and why I wasn't necessarily thrilled with the result. So going into the race, uh, it was I was feeling good. I sort of added a road race at the end of my track season, just as a bit of a bonus really, to see if the, the track speed that I've built up over the last sort of few months is gonna translate directly over to the roads. Um, having run 8.30 the week before, over 3K, I was really hopeful of something special over the 5K distance in Cardiff. So when the race started, I went with 2.51, I think was my first kilometer, which is around about where I wanted the pace to be. Um, and I was hoping to sort of settle into a pack and follow that pace through towards the end of the race. Maybe I would get to three, three and a half K at that pace, and then I would really empty the tank just to get to the finish line. But that's not quite how the race went. Started good, but I didn't really mentally commit to the pace. Um, so the group that I found myself in started to move up the road. Uh, and I sort of fell back into another group and then that group sort of broke up and I found myself in a in a previous group. So in terms of the race, I started well, but mentally I just wasn't quite 100%. It definitely wasn't as bad as when I raced uh, the 5,000 meters on track three or four months ago where I completely gave up after 3K. Um, I'd say I was probably 90% there in terms of ready to commit, ready to push myself, ready to enter that pain cave. Um, but for the 5K, you really need to be 100% committed. Um, but again, a lesson I've learned from this race um, is to really focus in on getting that mind state, mind state in the right uh, space. I think for me, it was the third race weekend in a row. So I was already feeling a little bit sort of fatigued mentally in terms of preparing for that level of, of pain. 5K is a painful distance and you're gonna have to commit from the gun, um, which I did, but I didn't pursue that throughout the race, which Looking back at it now, I think having three races in three weeks was probably one too many, and it meant I didn't quite get an A star performance out of myself. Looking back at the race, 14.45, I would give myself a B plus. Um, it was a good performance, uh, definitely didn't underachieve, but I didn't reach my potential where I really think I'm at if I have my top, top game. I reckon I'm in about uh, 14.25 to 14.30 shape on a really good day. But I mean, in hindsight, it's a beautiful thing and you're going to take with it what you want me saying that but based off my training i know i'm fitter than when i ran 14:42 uh, in the boston marathon training block so yeah there's some little takeaways from the race i was left feeling e as equally um accomplished having been competitive in an elite 5k coming 33rd out of a field of a field of about 100 but i was also a little bit disappointed and underwhelmed that i didn't quite reach the potential where i think i'm at um but looking back at the result uh, I am pretty proud of where I've come. Obviously, sub-15 now is, is the normal for me, which is great. It's only the third time I've ever gone under 15 minutes, but to still be 15 seconds under uh, is a great place to be. I'm looking to move up the distances now, so I've got a 10K in six weeks, and then I think in about 10 to 12 weeks, I've got a half marathon before going into marathon training. So yeah, there's gonna be a new series coming to the channel called The Project 3030, where I'm gonna document the next six weeks of training as I train towards the Vitality 10K, um, and hopefully I'll break my PB of 3056. 
and break that 30-30 barrier that I've set myself. Just want to say a massive thank you for all the support, both on the course uh, and in the comment sections as always. Special shout out goes to Red Spoon Running. His name is Simon. Uh, he offered to hold the camera for me and get that race footage. Sprinting from uh, from one side of the park to the other and back. This vlog would not have been possible without you, mate, so thank you. Uh, also want to say thanks to the FOD Runner. Some great slow-mo footage there. Um, it was really nice to see him and also congratulations to both Cole and the Welsh runner. Not quite PBs for them either, but it was a very windy afternoon down in Cardiff. But no excuses, I'm sure we'll be back to PBs before soon. But thanks for watching and as always, aspire to run, run to inspire and we'll see you again soon.